year 1998 can be remembered as the single most important one for stealth games with three important hallmark releases of the genre, namely From Software's Tenchu Stealth Assassins, Looking Glass Studios' Thief, and Konami's Metal Gear Solid having been released during that year. While all three of these franchises boast meaningful contributions to the stealth genre, Metal Gear Solid remains a franchise that has remained relevant after all these years. Furthermore, many of the biggest stealth franchises, such as the likes of Splinter Cell, even owe their very existence to Konami's 1998 breakout hit. It's been almost 24 years since Metal Gear Solid first burst onto the scene, and the game is still being actively discussed by legions of fans around the globe on account of its many advances in game design and narrative elements. While its age has certainly taken away a fair deal of its charm, it remains one hell of an experience nevertheless. To that effect, we're taking a look back at Metal Gear Solid 1 all these years later. Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. Many fans might mistake Metal Gear Solid for being the very first entry in the tactical espionage stealth franchise, although that couldn't be further from the truth. It's actually the third game in the series, with the first two games, Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, having been released in Japan exclusively for the MSX2 computer system. However, series creator Hideo Kojima wanted the game's Western release to appeal to newcomers, so the story is perfectly fine to be experienced without any prior information. That said, players with proper knowledge of the previous games will be able to pick up on a ton of narrative breadcrumbs and references nevertheless. On the narrative side of things, Metal Gear Solid was also one of the very first to pioneer storytelling in the medium of games. You see, back in the 90s, games weren't exactly known for having memorable narratives or interesting characters. Even the best narratives of the time, such as Final Fantasy VII, could be summarized as an elongated quest to save the world. Coming fresh off the heels of Police Knots, Kojima masterfully subverts these expectations with Metal Gear Solid delivering a narrative that's fascinatingly complex, yet simple on the surface level. Metal Gear Solid is all about infiltrating a top-secret military base and dealing with a potential nuclear threat, the Metal Gear Rex. This simplistic plot is then embellished with many plot twists and character reveals that never fail to keep a player at the edge of their seat at all times. Metal Gear Solid established Kojima's signature style of storytelling, which relies heavily on expository dialogues and lengthy cutscenes. It's not something that will appeal to everyone, but it is a great way of making the player fall down in a seemingly never-ending rabbit hole of political conspiracies and whatnot. In a similar vein, Metal Gear Solid also made a ton of leaps and bounds with its characters. As mentioned previously, there was a belief that games couldn't hope to match the complexity, intrigue, and moral ambiguity of characters that the likes of cinema boasted. One could argue that games didn't need to do so, because if it's all about the fun factor, why care about the story at all? Kojima, however, differed from this consensus. He was deeply inspired by the world of cinema and even dreamed of being a film director. As such, Kojima and his team paid a ton of attention to making Metal Gear Solid's characters believable and likable. While these characters could be considered as rather simplistic by modern standards, it was leaps and bounds ahead of the competition back in the 90s. Furthermore, Metal Gear Solid was also one of the few games to feature properly choreographed cutscenes that didn't rely on pre-rendered cinematic footage, putting it more in line with a movie than any other game of the time. What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Given that Metal Gear Solid is first and foremost an action game, most fans will be more than willing to skip past these narrative intricacies and get to the meat of it all. But this is what gives Metal Gear Solid its longevity, the complexity of these characters, their actions, their motivations, and everything else give them a life beyond the end credits, which is a rare feat that very few games of this time even came close to achieving. Coming to the actual gameplay of Metal Gear Solid, it was, simply put, revolutionary for its time. And this was built on the very strong foundation Kojima had established with Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake on the MSX2. Kojima poured a lot of work into making the stealth systems and mechanics as transparent and far removed from ambiguity as possible. Guards can be extremely exploitable and intentionally predictable so that players can expect their well-formulated plans to work out without any faults. 
So if you knock on a wall, it will always distract a nearby guard, so you can either dispatch him then and there, or go all the way around to get behind his back and take him down from there. In a similar vein, vision cones tell a player the exact areas that are safe from the enemies. Or, if you hug a wall, you can be sure that a guard wouldn't be able to see you from this position. On that note, the biggest contribution of Metal Gear Solid to modern stealth games is its radar. The Soliton radar on the top right of the display informs players of the surrounding map geometry, real-time player position, and enemy movements, and even their vision cones, which is more than enough for a player to plan their next move. It achieves all of this without being intrusive to the gameplay proceedings and plays a big role in removing the ambiguity of its stealth mechanics. The second most important innovation Metal Gear Solid did in its gameplay department, at least in my humble opinion, is the camera. The PlayStation 1 marked the start of 3D gaming on consoles, and developers took quite a bit of time to figure out how to implement the camera in a 3D game. Instead of going with a free camera like many games of the time, Metal Gear Solid utilized the same top-down fixed camera seen in prior games, allowing the player to move freely in a 3D environment without having to fiddle around with a player-controlled camera. However, the camera will transition to a first-person view when entering a vent or change to a close-up view when hugging a wall are also very smooth. This ensures that regardless of wherever you are in-game, you will always have relevant information about your immediate surroundings thanks to the fixed camera. And while controlling Solid Snake with the D-pad can be rather finicky by modern standards, it feels a lot better than a ton of PS1 games that featured a free moving camera. Another important point worth mentioning with regards to Metal Gear Solid's stealth systems is its detection system, which laid the foundations of future games to follow. You see, a guard wouldn't immediately fire on having the slightest hint of Solid Snake's existence. Instead, he would first get in a state of suspicion, and inch closer to your last known position, giving you a bit of leeway to plan your next move or turn the tables in your favor. If a guard eventually spots you, the base will go on full alert and guards will immediately shoot on sight. Should you manage to slip past the line of sight, you'll need to stay hidden for some time, following which things will start to cool down. It's rather primitive, but is a highly functional system that remains a joy to engage with even today. And how can we forget about the boss fights? While the bombastic boss fights featured in Metal Gear Solid might seem antithetical to its stealth roots, they remain one of the most memorable parts. From fist fighting against Liquid Snake on the top of a destroyed Metal Gear Rex, to the encounter with Grey Fox, to the mind blowing and fourth wall breaking fight against the coveted Psycho Mantis, there's no shortage of iconic boss fights in the game. Most of these offer multiple ways to victory, and they do a great job of shaking up the core gameplay loop of Metal Gear Solid, trading careful stealth for blockbuster action just when you start to get bored of it. Many of these iconic boss fights also established a signature eccentric tone of the series, which has gone to become one of the more recognizable traits of Metal Gear Solid and creative director Hideo Kojima himself. Suffice to say, almost all of these bosses remain a blast to revisit, even after all these years. While Metal Gear Solid is a game that's undoubtedly worthy of its tactical espionage action subtitle, removing the rose-tinted glasses of nostalgia does reveal some rather noticeable flaws with the experience that might be off-putting to first-timers, with no prior connection to the game. As is clearly evident, the visuals haven't aged well, and gamers accustomed to modern graphics may have a hard time putting up with this 1998 classic. Metal Gear Solid is also a very short game by modern standards, clocking in at just about five hours. It's short, snappy, and to the point, and you will most likely reach the end credits without getting tired of its gameplay loops or the story. This leaves quite a bit to be desired, but honestly that's a much better place to be in than stretching a game out just for the sake of it. So, it's no surprise that fans and critics absolutely adored Metal Gear Solid when it was released in 1998 and a Metacritic rating of 94 and over 6 million copies sold more than proves my point. To conclude, despite its flaws, Metal Gear Solid remains not only an important history lesson for fans of the stealth genre, but also one hell of a game. Even 24 years later, its primitive stealth mechanics remain highly functional and enjoyable to engage with even to this date, and so do the iconic fourth wall breaking boss fights. Solid Snake, his friends, and enemies are all fascinatingly complex characters that are a joy to witness over the course of this operation. Metal Gear Solid also established Hideo Kojima as a video game auteur and the franchise as a household name in the industry. 
Simply put, it's an experience worth taking, and we sincerely hope that a potential modern remake of this classic invites an even broader audience someday in the near future. If we were to score it today, we'd score it a fantastic 8 out of 10. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request, we upload new videos every single day, and if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.